Hello and thanks for joining me for our Disney devotional today. We are on number 23, the Liberty Square Riverboat, which I have never been on. Uh, okay, so here we go. The next attraction is also a part of Liberty Square, as its name implies, and you even board it in Liberty Square, but you actually travel through Frontierland as well on this ride. The entrance is right when you come off of the Haunted Mansion. I'm talking about the Liv Liberty Square Riverboat. I'll be honest that I really don't know much about this attraction and I'm not sure if I've ever ridden it. Oh good, I'm not the only one. We always say we're going to do it, but we never seem to get around to it. I guess it doesn't really appeal to me as much as, as many other rides as I've ridden. Plenty of boats like it before, even here in my own hometown of Nashville, Tennessee. It's another one of those rides that I'd be glad to do if I had plenty of time or days at the Magic Kingdom, but that's not usually the case. I'm going to really try and give it a shot next time. With as many times as we've, as we've been to Walt Disney World, I need to be able to say I've tried every ride, except for those awful teacups. <laughs> there are actually not a whole lot of fun facts out there about this riverboat that I've been able to discover. It has been open since day one in Walt Disney World and Disneyland. Actually, it technically opened day two in Florida as it didn't sail on opening day. The Disneyland version is called the Mark Twain Riverboat, but it's pretty much the same thing. The Walt Disney World actual boat is called the Liberty Bell, Bell is spelled B-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, and has a maximum capacity of 450. Sometimes a lucky family is chosen to ride in the captain's quarters with the captain himself. Otherwise, there are three decks to choose from where you can sit, relax, and enjoy the ride. It lasts around 17 minutes and takes a one-loop, half-mile trip around Tom Sawyer Island. It is well known that Walt Disney himself loved these riverboats. When money for the original riverboat ride at Disneyland dried up, Walt finished the building project with his own money. The original ship at Walt Disney World was called the Admiral Joe Fowler, but in late 1980, it suffered accidental damage while being moved by a crane for routine maintenance and wasn't able to be repaired. The Liberty Bell replaced it and still sails today. What kind of devotional thought can we get from a giant boat? Let's think about its name, Liberty. What does that word mean to you? Do you think of the Statue of Liberty? Maybe you think of the Declaration of Independence, which mentions life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That word tends to make most people think of our country and the freedoms we enjoy. It makes me think of what this country was founded on and one of the greatest gifts we have, which is freedom. For today, let's think about another freedom, which is our freedom in Christ. Romans 8, 1 through 4 tells us that if we are in Christ Jesus, that is, if we truly know him and follow him, then we will not be condemned. It goes on to say that the law of the Spirit has set us free in Christ Jesus. Galatians 5, 1 tells us that Christ has set us free. In other words, because of what Jesus did for us on that cross, we have a very special type of freedom. We have freedom from death. We will, of course, still die physically one day, but spiritually we will live on forever and eternity with God, which means we will never truly die. That's the freedom we are all given. In that same chapter of Galatians in verse 13, it tells us not to abuse our freedom. It says we should use it to serve others and share with them the freedom that they can also enjoy through Jesus. Think about what a wonderful gift this freedom is. Freedom from death, freedom from hell, freedom from suffering or sadness or pain. Those freedoms are coming and one day we can all enjoy them. If you ever get to ride the giant Liberty Bell Riverboat, think about that word. Think about what that word liberty truly means to you. Take time during your 17 minute ride to thank God that for us as Christians, it means a whole lot more than just freedom in our country. While freedom on earth is truly a great blessing from God that we enjoy, we also have a much more important freedom, eternal freedom through Christ. Praise God for that. Well, that's actually a really good one. Uh, and I probably will spend some time today like, kind of contemplating that. Um, actually, if you haven't noticed before, I do have a tattoo on my arm there. It says, free indeed. Whom the sun sets free is free indeed. Um, so I just, I love that word like freedom and it almost has like a just a physical I don't want to say like lightness to it but just yeah I'll leave it to you to contemplate the word on your own today uh, but thank you for joining me for that today and I'll see you next time bye